And we have come down here to the King Square area, or just adjacent, to try to find a fishy raisin sandwich, and we are being guided toward Wahoos. Well, anytime you see a line, that could be a good sign. All right, let's try Wahoos. Welcome. Looks like their sandwich of the day is on Snapper. I said on Snapper. It is Snapper. Let's take a glide down the menu. We've got two sides. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the side that's got the sandwich on it. So what are we looking at? $25 fish sandwich. Cocktails, wines, beers, oh, special teenies, frozen dudes. Interesting. There's a lot of uh, utensil noise happening. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. All right, turn this off. We have done it. We have acquired a fish sandwich on raisin bread. It comes with fries. We've got slaw and tartare on the side. Okay, so the sandwich does come dry. You can add slaw as you see fit. Mm -hmm. Or tartare. Oh my gosh, all right, most everybody went fish sandwich. We do have, all right, we got honey fried chicken with sweet tater fries happening here. Fish sandwich. Oh, Ricky went with the burger. Is that the Wagyu burger? Wagyu burger, yeah. Wagyu burger. Mine's on the way. This is my spot. The big fish sandwich is about to appear right here in a minute. Dun, 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 some interesting greenery. Oh, I don't know what greenery they've given me. I like it. Oh, you have lettuce, Heck yeah, I'm extra healthy. Look at all that greenery. Oh, they have lettuce. Well, we are on the move again in search of, well, dessert. <laughs> Might as well. My sandwich was pretty good. It's an interesting flavor combo, but I liked it. So if we come back out here and hang a right, I believe, I think we'll be in business. Yo Cherry Frozen Treats. All right, we've also heard good stuff about this place. Yeah, look both ways. Oh, they've got brownies. Okay, they've got like dippy dip ice cream. Also, Cookie Monster, that looks good. Toppings here, or like Froyo machines where you just grab Froyo and do toppings. All right, I'm into it. Let's see, I'm a little close to the menu, so let's pan around it. <laughs> Donuts? Oh. Yeah, let's look at these flavors. So she said it was about 85 cents an ounce, I think, for the Froyo. You know, you buy it by weight. Oh, there are no flavors in that one. Okay. And the ice cream, something like $2.75 or $3 for a single scoop, not including your toppings. So let's look at it. Chocolate walnut brownie. Okay, rum raisin. Got lavender honey, grape nut. Man, I missed all these cakes and cookies when we first came in. Oh. Well, we decided to pass on the ice cream for now. We are kind of amused by the sign across the way here. Let me get let me get my zoom on. So the shop across the street has a little sign on the door that says wheelchair access. Ask cashier for ramp. It's a novel idea, but if you're sitting out here in your chair, I wonder how you get the cashier's attention. I guess just by knocking on the door or waving frantically, probably. It's interesting, but at least they do have a way to get you over the stoop into their store. Hmm. So now we're going to head right back down here to the waterfront, hang out a little bit, and locate the ferry back to the dockyard. Hey, Wahoos! This looks familiar. Oh, there's a little map of Summer's Wharf. Hmm. There's a cafe. Sea glass studio? Yeah, not a lot of signage for the ferry dock, but I think if we just keep wandering up here, we'll come across it. Well, that looks very promising, like a nice marine loading dock area. Scoot, scoot! Ah, Norwegian Tender Queue, Sea Express Ferry Queue. There is a good map of the town of St. George. All right, so we are down here, wapa, at the ferry. All right. Oh, yes, we missed the old ducking stool. There's a few things here that uh, were a little exciting. You got to keep on schedule. Next time. Schedule. <laughs> keep to our schedule. <laughs> <laughs> we see on the horizon a ferry headed our way. We can taste success from here. They also have a saxophone player who's just started playing some swanky music while we wait. Snagged us some seats and we are ready to ride.
Welcome back to the dockyard. Yay! So they are, oh, they are Clock Tower Mall over there. I just saw a sign for Diamonds International, which is over in that complex. Here we've got the rum place. We're actually in the mood. We're gonna try an ice cream stop. Cause you know what? Now we want ice cream. Yeah. Now we want some ice cream. Now this is Alex and Pete's Bermuda Artisan ice cream. Whoop whoop. No Wi-Fi. Wait, free Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi. Well, all right. Oh, they're cash only, no Wi-Fi. Maybe they're having some technical issues. Oh, okay, candy cake. Oh yeah, rum swizzle ice cream, dark and stormy. There's our pricing here, one scoop, two scoop, three scoops, three scoops. We decided to get a two scoop cup. We've got chocolate ripple on the bottom. You can't really see it down there. And rum swizzle ice cream on the top. Because we're from Bermuda. So That's true. I don't know if those go together at all, but they're going to today. They do now. <laughs> so we're getting ready to enjoy some rum swizzles. We gotta see how the ice cream does. Mm. Yeah? It's really fruity. It don't taste rum, but it's good. Well, we're getting ready to taste some rum. Mm. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, we just barely made it. They close up shop at five o'clock. They've already taken in the signs, turned the music off, boom, but we finished just in time. Good. Oh gosh, the rum place is open. Okay. Hey now. There's a duty free liquor deadline? Hm. Ooh. Do they do samples in here? <laughs> oh, for schwizzle. Are you gonna have it? Day drinker. <laughs> huh. Oh mercy. Back out into the world. Oh gosh, we came out. Carnival Magic's having a puff puff. Get better, girl. Get better. Well, we're gonna head over to our next adventure now, which starts in about a half an hour, which is a Gosling's rum cruise that we have booked through the ship. It's about an hour and a half riding on a vessel. We think it might actually be that one or something similar and having rum samples and stuff. <laughs> the sunset tour. Oh, well, there's a little shuttle to get you up and down the pier from the ship to the, you know, main area. Cool. Yeah, our meeting instructions for the tour say on the pier outside the terminal. No specific zone number or anything. So we're going to wander up here because we think that means this. We we'll get our air snorkel on from up here. Think we got some <laughs> snails. Parrotfish. Oh, you got a parrotfish too? It was. Yeah, I see all those guys. Hard to see on camera, I'm sure. Yeah, they're coming out pretty good. They just look like little gray lines. The water's really pretty. Well, we found the folks holding signs over here, and then our meeting spot is down here by this blue railing. Beep, beep, we are on the move. <laughs> oh, I want to go on the turtle boat. I don't know. I think we're going on this one up here, but I'm not sure. So they've got what I call wedding chairs on the bottom row. I'm not too fond of those, but I do see some sturdy bounces up top. Oh man, they handed us a drink as we boarded the vessel. Alrighty. All right, we have got some sturdy benches up top. We're gonna get some views from up here, some breeze from up here. Ah. We are right here by the steering wheel. We could take control of the vessel if we need to. Good to know. Well, we are moving out. Nobody's driving the boat. I guess they can drive from downstairs too, obviously. <laughs> well, it's a ghost boat. So first, a little safety spill. We introduce the boat, the boat, the crew, and everything. So first, you welcome aboard Sun Deck Two. If you guys feel like we're losing altitude on today's flight, you see some water around your ankles. Captain and crew are nowhere to be found. Probably means we're sinking. Just want to welcome everybody for coming on the rum cruise. We like to call this the 101 rum cruise. Now remember you're going to be drinking a lot of different types of rums tonight and drinks. Their signature rum is this one here and this is what we put in the swizzle. This is the black rum. It's 80 proof and we use this gold rum made by Gosling Brothers. <laughs> Gosling's also makes it pre-made so you can get this pre-made and remember you're going to have the chance tonight to go downstairs and buy duty-free liquor on this boat and it will get sent right to that boat first thing nine o'clock tomorrow morning and then will be sent to your cabin on the last night teddy goslin would take a, a bottle of this from every session of rum they made and pour it into a barrel and leave it for 20 years and they kept getting barrels and barrels of this and they decided one day it is time to do this and you can see how it's still got the wax and they still do it like this today hand dipped in black wax hand labeled and hand numbered <laughs> They do it every year and they make a batch of this. 
How you like it? Well, that's the gold. We don't mix the gold. You drink the gold as is. Isn't that nice? Yeah. You can only get this here, right? Yes. This is the one that Laura bought. Okay. This can only be had. And this is only 56 proof, so 28% alcohol. It's not very strong. Only. We have to go down to the islands and bring everything in to make this. Even the rum comes from West Indies, and it comes in barrels, and it's so strong, they have to break it down, break it down, break it down, until they get to the 80 proof, and then you also have the 140 proof and the 151 proof. If you order a dark and stormy, and if it doesn't come with this rum and this ginger beer, it is not a true dark and stormy. Remember that. Woohoo! Well, they gave us this much because they said we're supposed to. Yeah, just take a little sip of this. To taste it, but you're saving some sip. so they can, can add more ginger beer to it and turn it into a dark and drink. Don't, don't be shy to ask. All right, let's we'll see how you're going here. He said caramel, you're just gonna have that in your mouth vanilla. Taste. It'll probably burn the throat a little bit going down. <laughs> Now, Bermuda's made up of 180 different islands, and they're all going to be like little islands that stick out like this. If a rock comes out of the water, they call it an island. Thank you. Thank you. have a lot of knowledge about that house. Get all your perfumes duty-free in that. We've made it back over to Hamilton. Yes. We are one of the most expensive places to live in the world. Whole wheat loaf of bread. $8.79. $8 for two quarts of milk. Yeah, don't ask about a steak, huh? Well, we're getting our turn on here Wow, this Hamilton. is a small little ship. Yep, right by the Star wow. Bride. I don't know. I'm not sure what the W is. got a W is. up there. Is that a windward boat? Or? It's a windstar. Windstar? Ah. It's a windstar. Cousins oh, honored this young now. lady, Flora Duffy, a few years ago when she won. She won the one here. This one They're all coming from overseas, oh, and it'll be on the 5th and the 6th. Of this week. They're going to come put and they'll be doing it all through the city too, of Hamilton, so. swimming Mule, off the dock here. Put ginger beer here. And they must go, I don't know, where they go around the islands or wherever they swim. Okay, so ginger beer is going to make this a Bermuda mule, I guess he said. Let's go. Oh, it's looking a little cloudy. Yeah, a little cloudy up ahead. Thank you. But great for daiquiris. Remember, this one's a great, Bermuda great for daiquiris. Officially, <laughs> it's the best way to stir it. Just give it a little smooshy finger. All right, Rain. Be kind now. It has not started yet, but we're watching you. <laughs> you got to put the code in. Oh man! All right, we're getting into some fancy rum now. Let's see how it opens. Look at that. Now we're getting ready to try the old rum. It's this is like the one you want to open up old. in the winter months when it's snowing outside. Bottle. And you're sitting dangerous. on that beer skin oh, rug or laying on it with your loved ones. With no Fireplace no is no ripped. It was the black seal wax, and then all of a sudden, Malcolm Goose Gosling, sitting around with his brothers years ago, they were just talking about how they could do something with the label, make it different. He said, well, why don't we put a seal jugging a, juggling a barrel? Did it spill on you a little bit? No, Because uh, if it did, I get one of the crew guys. They like rum. Ow. <laughs> because we like to keep these crews oh, as good. Right. I can Very smell good. that. All right, let's give it here. Give us your impression. For about nine, ten years How do you now? think about that? Do your breathing sorry, technique sorry. from the tequila class. Oh, good no, gracious. Gotta, sorry. <laughs> All the breathing in the world can't help you now. That is so strong. It's this bad. It's this bad. Okay. I can't help it. Breathe in. You take a sip. Okay, I feel like that controlled the burn a little bit. This one should go down a lot easier. That's not bad. You keep begging it on this boat, young lady. You look, so, you look familiar. It works. It really does. It does. I did not burn that. Thirty three okay. years been married to this young lady. Yeah. If anybody wants to go down and get duty free, now's the time to go down. Because we're getting close to the uh close to the port now. I'm gonna ask the captain to play some music right now so you can have a little bit of music. And just enjoy the rest of this trip. On behalf of myself and the crew again, we love you. Thank you for coming. Feel drops in the sky. Oh no. Okay. Oh, they broke out the Whitney now. Okay. Uh, we're almost back at the dock. It's just after seven o'clock. So this was a little bit. Yeah, this was an hour and a half for all told. Um, the rain is kind of held off. I so, highly recommend. It was really good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, definitely get your money's worth, I would say. Did it work? Land down under.
Wow. <laughs> right, yeah, we're back to the dock. Now it's time to return to our home sweet home. Alrighty, now we are a departure. Home sweet home. We have come back to the cabin to find a beefcake penguin pig man. <laughs> what is it? A beef duck pig. It's a bird. But he's okay. Beefy. beefy bird. <laughs> Good evening. evening. We are stinking back on the ship. Actually, not stinking because I took a shower. We're clean. Back on the ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna grab some dinner. Uh, tell me, okay, how was your? We did a lot today. We did do it. How lot. was it? Once we figured out where we were supposed to go, yes, it was uh, great. But you know, we had a bonus like tour through yep. the taxi. It was great because of Jay's aunt yep. um, being able to take that right to Tobacco Bay because that hill is a little challenging, honestly. Um, snorkeling was phenomenal. Most parrotfish I've ever seen in any area the ever. Pigeons. Large, beautiful, it's great, super clear and not wavy water, which was awesome. But um, we did learn, ask where your water taxi ferry <laughs> is going. But I mean, I think in the long run, I'm kind of glad no, we goofed it well. up today. It did work out well. We ended up in Hamilton as well. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, lunch was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fish sandwich, recommend. Sounds on raisin weird. bread, for sure. Uh, then what did we do? Uh, pretty much came then back. Then came back. <laughs> and went to the Gosling Rum Tour through the ship. That was really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ricky and Laura had done that once before and they suggested that we should try it. I recommend it as well. Mm -hmm. It is through the ship. I don't know that you can book it independently. Probably not. Uh, I think most ships sell it because Joy, Norwegian Joy, was on there as well with yeah. us. Yeah. But really fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good information, some history, and some drinks. Beautiful day. Much better day in Bermuda. Yes, Bermuda, <laughs> you good. You redeemed yourself. And then we have one more day tomorrow. Oh, oh my watch is Your watch going alarm off. is going off. That's Sorry. all right. We're going to dinner anyway, yeah. so let's go eat. Okay. <laughs> Drum excitement in the atrium. Welcome back to Northern Lights. Ooh, we just put our order in and they called for showtime. That's what we get for eating so late. <laughs> oh, they got Despacito as their entrance song tonight. Oh, we got all kinds of like acrobatics going on. Okay, impressive. The Old Fantastic team once again has put together a performance just for you. songs coming from the lobby. It's an ABBA lobby. Now we've come up to five. Yeah, we've come to Ocean Plaza. We should be getting some tunes over here. So this is the group we saw last night called Music and Magic. And they were the ones who were singing the line dances and played Rocky Top and all of that. So we wanted to come back because we're curious to see what the heck they're going to play tonight. Fun game where you try to guess and get it wrong every time. There's the Cupid and there's Dancing D. <laughs> Okay. This is the first time we have heard them sing the wobble. Dee is um, working, but she can dance and work at the same time. That's weird. It 
It is midnight. Good night. We don't want to bed. It's already tomorrow. In Bermuda. So oh, yeah. At home, it's like 11, but we're very tired. Y'all, we stayed up and we listened to the band play like three sets. That was fun. Worked. Um, Talked. Had fun with our friends. Yeah, family. just hanging out. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we're going to bed. Mm -hmm. So we have one more day in Bermuda tomorrow. Yes. And we will see you then. Any yeah. other words for anything? My dinner was actually kind of surprisingly good tonight. My dinner was great. Overall, the day in Bermuda was lovely. Yeah. Like we said, everything happened by accident, but it was a good it accident. It was good, yeah. yeah. The hmm. weather was perfect. I don't know. Tomorrow was, might be a little sketchy. Yeah, it might be we'll like see. stormy, hopefully. Yeah. Not. <laughs> good night, y'all. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>